Hello guys, welcome back to Analytics with Priyam. So in this video, I am going to tell you about the semantic models in Microsoft Fabric. So basically, what is semantic model and how we are going to create the semantic models? So the process starts with importing the data from to the various data sources into our lake house. So in and in our lake house, there is the option of uh, SQL Analytics endpoint. So here we are uh, creating we are going to identify which one is our fact table and which one is our dimension table so based on uh, fact and dimension table we are going to create the star schema so after creating the star schema we are also going to create the measures in our uh, semantic model and uh, after then when our semantic model is uh, completely ready we are going to import that semantic model in our power bi so stay connected with this video i'm going to tell you about this so guys let's back to screen so let me go to the sql server where i'm i'm going to show you which tables i'm going to load into our lake house so basically these are the sales tables customer order items orders tasks stores so these uh, five tables i'm going to import into our lake house so let's go back to our fabric account here i am having a sales workspace let me create a branch layer So the bronze layer is created also I'm going to create one silver layer so both the layers are completed so let me take a copy activity in a pipeline so that we can import all these tables into our bronze layer I'm going to name it as a sales. Okay, now, now let me take a copy activity so that we can import all those tables. So the first table is customer. So I'm going to rename it as a customer. Source is our SQL server connection type is our sql server and databases are loading let me go to my happy database and here the tables are loading so where is the customer table okay connection is destination is our bronze layer and i'm going to name it as a customer it should be over right let me import the schemas okay now let me create a clone of this and the second table is order items order items source is our same and we are going to take the order items we are going to name it as a order item mapping we are going to import the schemas okay now again let me create a clone of this and the third table is our orders let me rename it to orders now 
now let me import the schemas okay again let me take a clone of this and the third table is staffs let me rename it to staffs Now again let me take a clone of this and the fifth table is stores let me select the store table in destination i am going to rename it as a store now let me import the schemas okay now all the five tables we have created a copy activity of for all the five tables let me save and run it so as you can see the pipeline is running let's wait for the pipeline to proceed as you can see the pipeline has succeeded let me go to the bronze layer and show you all the tables let me refresh it so we got all our four uh, five tables okay now what we are going to do we are going to take a data flow zen2 so that if any transformation we have to do we can do it in our data flow so i'm going to rename it as a sales get data from lake houses now in our sales workspace we are having a bronze layer and here we have stored all our five tables so let me pick up all these five tables now here we have to do some of the cleansing operation so let me show you let it load okay so the tables are loaded let me go to our customer table and see if there is any unwanted column so yeah this looks fine to me now we are going to the order items this is also fine let me go to the order table after then is staff after then is store okay now i'm going to give the destination as our silver layer you can also rename the table but uh, i am not going to rename the table save setting for order items also i am going to set the destination to our silver lake house
so for all the tables i am going to set my destination to the silver For the last table also I am going to set the destination to our silver lake house. Okay, after then I am going to publish our data flow. Let's wait for the data flow to be published. You can see the data flow is successfully published. So now go, let me go back to the silver layer and let me show you the tables. Okay, so we have all these five tables in our lake house okay so all these tables are there in our silver layer now what i am going to do so basically to create a new semantic model i have to click here i have to name the semantic model I am going to name it as a sales and here I am going to select all our tables ok so our all tables are selected let me confirm it now we are here with all our tables let me zoom out so that i can show you all over these tables so basically here we are having orders and order items these both are our fact tables so basically now we are going to create our relationship with these fact tables so basically customer is our uh, dimension table so with the help of a customer we are going to create a relationship with the help of this customer id okay it is okay now with the help of orders and order items i am going to create with the help of order id now with the staff and orders i am going to create a relationship uh, with the staff id staff id okay now with the store and orders i am going to create a relationship with the store id so basically our modeling is completed and here you can also create uh, the measures just like 
if I want to create a measure for to the orders order item okay so if I want to create a measure for to the list price let me create a new measure and here I am going to take a sum of means sum of list price I am going to name it as a price okay so basically in order items you can see the measure for to the price here so also you can create you can edit the tables you can also create the row level security and you can also create the calculation group in our uh, semantic model so basically now i have to save this semantic model you can click on save to version history now this version history is saved so now let me go back to our sales this one is our semantic model so now let me open our power bi so that i can import this semantic model let me create a blank report let me sign in with my fabric account okay so it is logged in now let me import the help of a semantic model or oh, in the starting we got our sales semantic model let me connect with it yeah so basically we got all our tables here and let me show you the semantic model which we have created yeah so this one is our semantic model which we have created in fabric so this semantic model is connected as a live connection so all the measures you have you can also create a measures here also but if you want to create the calculations and the calculated column so you have to go back to our silver layer data flow so in that data flow you can create the calculated columns and uh, you can also publish that after then you have to refresh our semantic model and then you have to refresh from here after then you can see that calculations uh, in our uh, tables so basically let me show you the measure which i have created there so the price we have uh, created the measure into our fabric so it is here so my suggestion is that uh, so if the measures and the calculated columns you have to create just create uh, into our semantic model not into the report so, if you want to increase the performance so you have to create all the measures and the calculations into our semantic model after then you can create a report out of it so yeah thank you for watching this video so please like subscribe and share thank you